it's Potmos and nice of you to join me for the continuing adventures of the United States of America. It's 1864, so we're almost 30 years into the game. And, well, we made some progress, but there's still a lot to be done. Let's go check New York. It needs a better infrastructure to make sure all the goods get to the market. We are already working on that, so that's a good thing. Probably the same thing in the Niger Delta. That's true. Our economy is going very good, although we have a slight credit problem. We are 1,260,000 in debt, but for a country like the US, that's no issue. I guess that the United States right now would sign for a little debt like that. <laughs> I guess their debt is a little bigger than ours right now, and we can fix that as long as we keep the economy growing. We are well on our way to do that, getting some extra coal mines, then some extra iron mines. So yeah, things look, I think, I say things look quite okay. Let's hope we can get lucky and get universal suffrage, that would be nice. So let's speed up a little bit more. We have more people that like us than people that hate us, so that's also an interesting thing. Let's see what the future holds for us. Now. We've taken a big chunk of Mexico, but we're not done with Mexico. So we need to keep an eye out on the truces. As soon as this is over, we can plan a next move. It's 1865 now. Uh, so it will take more than a year before this truce ends. But after that, we might give it another try and, and take the rest of Mexico that we want. And maybe in the end, we'll take all of Mexico. Although I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like we should do that right now. We can see that the debt that we had, the daily debt that we have is slowly starting to diminish. Grassroots support for the law, the politic wills and desires of the lower classes will always remain an opaque matter. For whatever reason, support for universal suffrage has spread like wildfire across the United States of America, spurred on the charismatic speakers and lively debates in small social clubs. Well, everybody is very enthusiastic about it. We don't get a race in success chance but the intelligentsia will get a boost and that's good for the election because that's what, one of the things that we might really need this party the Whig party needs a boost so let's hope that this boost will help the intelligentsia um, and of course that the other ones get diminished we're still not done with those parties so yeah, they're still too big, but maybe we can do something nice about it. The Whistle Stop Tour. Willis Goggins intends to travel across American Togo by train to campaign for the Socialist Party of America. Well, campaigning by rail is a smart move, so let's let's approve that. Because even if it is the Socialist Party, it's always better than this party. So, uh, And it will take away votes from them mostly, I think, so this will be good. Ooh, and we are out of our debt. Oh, no, no longer. We were for a short period of time out of our debt. Well, not completely out of debt, of course, but out of our daily debt. So that's good. Let's keep the economy growing to make sure that we get rid of the total credit. That will be nice. Really hoping we can get this. Although the stall chance is even bigger now than the advanced chance. So that's not good. Our colonization of the Rift Valley. The colony is now a proper state. Can't do another colony there, so we'll have to keep it as it is. We can declare more interest, though. So let's declare another interest. What areas are we interested in? All right, let's say we are interested in that area, too. I'm not sure if there's any... Well, maybe there's a few small colonies to be, to be created in this area from this zone. So let's see. They bear sighted because we were still doing the Western Frontier Expedition. We are quite far along the way, so let's see. What should we do with the bear? A large grizzly has been sighted up ahead. We could hang back and wait for it to leave, or we could hunt it. If we hunt it, there's a 66% chance of a success and a 33% chance of a failure. And there's a 30% chance the bear will attack us or the expedition just continues. We'll take a gamble. The expedition has successfully hunted and killed the grizzly bear. That's nice. And we get minor progress. We are almost there now. And it's still in low peril. So if we can keep that up, that would be excellent because then we can finish this expedition. And well, I have to be honest, I kind of hope we can. Country subjugated. Serbia agreed to become the protectorate of Austria. 
Well, that's not really to one thing that we should concern ourselves with. The rubber rush. The rubber has been successfully grown in Gabon. The fragile nature of these trees and their difficulty and their difficult to meet conditions make this achievement exceptionally important. All right, this seems to be a most effective place or caution. We don't want to uh, exhaust the soil. But they both give the same thing. Oh no, this is Tiki and this is Gabon. All right, we'll do Gabon then. That's fine. The Hudson Bay Company wishes to enter an alliance with us. That ain't happening. Let me see. Yeah, we can do another colony in the Nile area. So that's nice. That means that we can grow our chunk of land there. The Democratic Party, 18.7 million votes. Whig Party and the Party of America. Okay. Well, these two still have a good legitimacy. So I'd like to keep it like this. The industrialists want to join the Whig Party. I'm not sure what that's going to do for our legitimacy. Yeah, that's just disappearing. If we get these out, what does that do? Yeah, that's not working. So I guess we should do nothing and leave it like this for now. Because this is our best option. A new quest. As the expedition advances, the prioritization of tasks increases in importance. And Franklin Buchanan keeps track of what every man has to do. However, the disobedient explorers have already stated their non-agreement with this decision. Hunting must be prioritized. Or it's imperative that we find a settlement. I think we should find a settlement right now. So let's go try. The play for power. Ooh, interesting. Victor Seward, leader of the industrialists, has made a remarkable play for power in the capital in order to secure a spot for the industrialists within the government. However, it's not entirely clear if they should be rewarded for this novel tactics. I think I'm going to reward them for it. Because I always like the industrialists better than the other guys. So let's see. A few days after sent on a reconnaissance mission, members of the expedition come back announcing that they have found a native village in with which the group can find aid using the newborn baby as a symbol of their peaceful intentions. Let's try to bother with them. This will reduce the peril. But it is delayed. Is there anyone that can guide us? We get minor progress. And they have offered us some provisions for the baby. Alright, is there anybody that can guide us? We should have it now. Let's see. When reaching one of the enclaves, a letter was waiting for Franklin Buchanan stating that his fiance back in the United States of America has married another man. Should we let him mourn? Or he'll find another one. I oh, will do another one. Because I think we should have the... Uh, yeah, Western Frontier Expedition was a success. That's great. So we have now found the Great Salt Lake. After a long and arduous journey, the expedition has finally come to an end. The expedition was has managed to find a map... Of, uh, find and map the entirety of the Great Salt Lake. That's wonderful news. He is no longer busy. He gains the trade explorer. And we get 20% prestige for five years. More pragmatically inclined members of the industrialists currently opposed to the passing of Unisophris have offered to change their stance were they to be offered certain political concessions. Such concessions would not be popular with the intelligentsia, however. Alright, so we can get a 15% enactment chance, but the intelligentsia won't approve. Alright, we'll approve it because I just want universal suffrage. That's the main thing I want right now. And I don't care how we get it. And yeah, their debt is slowly starting to diminish. That's good. Let's keep it up like that. Arizona can now support additional gold fields. We can also get an extra gold mine. That's very nice. Let's keep... Yeah, we need more iron, but that's what we're building at this point. So that should be fine. Um, we have not looked at the market for a while, but we can see the economy is still growing at a good rate. So... There's no real need to keep checking the market extensively. Although, yeah, there are a few things that needs fixing up. First, let's check the research. Let's go to the uh, steam donkey, I guess. To better enhance the research that we can do. Now, since we have dynamite now. We could increase the production of certain buildings. So if we use explosives in the gold mine, we get more minting out of it. That'll be nice. Question is, however, how much explosives do we have? We already have a shortage there. So we should probably heavily invest in explosives and then go for it. Or we need to be able to get more explosives, which we can actually. We get a slightly less fertilizer, but we get a lot more explosives, namely 900. 
So let's use that 900 explosives that we got. We can get more sulfur that we need for the production of explosives. This will only cost us 165 explosives. If we want to do this, this will cost us 365. Well, we have that, so why not use it? Same with this, 400. Well, we had about 900 to spare now, so this should all work out well. This should give us a lot more goods and we should not have completely run out of ooh, the Mapuche and Argentine. Now, this is an interesting play because basically I want this area. So what we can do, ooh, Peru, Bolivia is supporting him. Let me check my military. We have 33 battalions and a lot of conscripts. What we can do is support the Mapuche. If they win, they take a chunk of Argentine. They'll probably uh, conquer uh, Patagonia. So they want to conquer this area. And after that, they might rise up against us and we can take that whole area too. So that could be very interesting. Now we have Shield, Paraguay and Great Britain also might join. So let's set it right like this for now. We'll wait a bit. Although I think we need to hurry if we want to join. We're just going to take a gamble. Let's join in. And then as soon as we can, we will mobilize and put troops there. I don't think we can do that straight away right now. Oh, we can mobilize them actually. He's the explorer. Do we have a guy, offense, experienced offensive planner? That's very good. Let's put him on this front line already. And there's a popular commander. Let's put him on this front line. I think we should get anybody. Stalwart defender. Oh, that's nice. He can defend this front line then. And those are all the generals with troop act troops actually. And this should be a good moment to try and beat this guy. Although he has quite a few divisions himself too. Especially with Peru Bolivia joining in. So that might be something. Um, let's just hope things go into the right direction. And they don't head off into a bad direction. We do need more small arms apparently. So let's make sure we build two small arms factories. I'm interested to see how this war will go. Ah, the gantry cranes for bigger ports. That's nice. There might even be a chance that he will say, okay, bye bye, we're not going to get uh, involved in this. But I don't think so right now. I guess we should tell this guy to defend the front and not um, attack it. That might probably be best. We have to find first how strong these divisions are. And maybe we'll have to raise a few conscripts then. Um, interesting. I'm not sure if we have the army ready to deal with this straight away. So what we could do, of course, is activate a few conscription centers. Not in the provinces that we use a lot. So we'll do these three. We need to speed up the warring anyway. And this might be a good way to do that. The troops are not there yet. So hopefully they arrive in time because, well, 20 days. That's taking some time. Are my troops actually arriving here? I think they should, but I don't see them incoming yet. Are there 25 incoming? Just doesn't say when. Okay. Ooh, let's see. We have a message here. The death from disease among the wounded soldiers has skyrocketed. Now, I don't like this because the war has barely started and already we get this. There are not even casualties yet. So I think they should put something in it that um, that will go a little bit slower. All right. Here comes the defense. Perfect. They are there now. Let's hope they can do a good job. Ah, we don't see the actual fighting anymore. Ah, there it is. All right, we are winning this battle. That's good. Now we have troops here too. Uh, I think we should keep defending this front for now. We'll attack later on. Oh, there's a war that we can do there too. Oh, maybe we should move this army over there then. Oh, there's... No, we can't. Okay. This is just a fight that's going on and we're not really involved. That's the problem. Increased chance by 10% for universal suffrage. That's nice. Are they attacking us here? No. Should we try and attack? I guess so. We can at least try. Low market access in New York again. 
this is going to be an interesting war because if we can win this this might be very beneficial to us in the long run in securing this whole area once Mapuche rises up against us. How is this war going? Ah, we are winning this, so that's good. Maybe we should continue forward here too then. There's 38 divisions there. Let's try and advance. We'll see if it works. This is not good. They lost this little fight, but hopefully we won't be losing now. They're not attacking here anymore. That's to our benefit. And once the armies come in, we can see that the armies are growing. That's very good. Yep, we're winning that too. Do we win here as well? Yes, okay. So things are actually moving in the right direction for this war. It will just take time. Yeah, we took a whole area. That's nice. Let's see if we can continue this. He attacks too now, but yeah, we win this apparently. At least I hope. Can we do some colonizing in the meanwhile? No, no colonizing anywhere. You can see our army keeps growing because more and more divisions reach the front. This is a tough battle. Kind of hope that we can win, but I think we'll lose this. No, it's going the right direction now. As long as we leave... With more men than he does. Yeah, we are in right now. Okay, that's going okay. Wait. Little spots of progress here. Still need a bigger army though. 27 of us against zero of his. Oh, that's good. But this doesn't look that good actually. Um... Well, as long as we can take big chunks here, that's okay. We should force him to uh, to lose. And right now we're making big progress here. Although I think we should switch these armies out. So this army should go right here. And then this army can go right there. Because there's no resistance here. So they can fight there. And we have our big army need here. Because there's the big army from the enemy too. Yeah, so this should work. We're still losing it. But I think in the end we might be able to win it. The economy is doing good. So slowly getting away rid of the bad situation there. And us taking this land back is very important for the uh, war support. And we're now really giving him hits in his land. So that's good. Really hope we can do this quickly enough to turn it to the right side. I think we can. Argentine. Ma ah, we got universal suffrage. Perfect. All right. The difference between these two starts to slow, starts to get smaller. So that's the right direction. Come on. Let's win this. Well, they're going really fast here, taking over all of this. There's almost no difference anymore. And then it starts to head in the right direction for us. So that's good. There's a small battle going on. So he moved armies there, apparently. But we won again. Still winning here, even if he can amass more troops against us. rubber rush okay that's fine so yeah this looks good our economy is growing like crazy medical cleanliness all right it has been suggested by some of the nurses working on the front lines of the argentine versus mapuche war that by adopting new cleanliness procedures we could reduce the number of deaths that's an excellent idea let's get the recovery rate all right very good peace treaty I don't see anything happening. So did anybody... No, they did not take anything. All right, so... No gain for us, but also no losses in terms of land. And we can still now fight the Mapuche at a certain point ourselves. Although we should probably get the Tehulche first. And we're not really colonizing in this area right now. Which is hmm, unfortunate. Just really hope we can at a certain point. But at least we... Gave support to others and we were successful in it. So that's nice. It's time to finally check the market again. 
because we have some work to do in terms of food. We can see we need sugar, fruit, meat, groceries, fish. So let's start working on that. Meat is right here. Uh, there's eight coming. Nine, ten, I guess. Then we'll do another 20. What do we get from this? We get, just get grain. Bananas, that's fruit. We want extra fruit, so that's good. Fruit sugar as well. Can we also get sugar plantations going? Yes, let's build 10 sugar plantations. We also need more fish. We'll need a few clippers for that, but that's okay. Florida can have some fish, so let's build some fish there. And then we can go for groceries because they need things like sugar and fish and grain. So let's build 10 levels of that as well. That's for starters. Uh, then we needed more... Uh, oh, let's do that in Arkansas. We needed more explosives to keep all the other resources incoming and, and moving in the right direction. We need to grow the government in New York. Low access in New Jersey. Let's build a few railroads. We are already in a quite a big gold reserve. So that war changed quite a bit. We went to war and our economy is doing better. That's interesting. Uh, and I think for now we can invest that into more construction sectors. We'll build four more. Let's see how that goes. Low market access out Cameroon. It's always the balancing thing. Keep your infrastructure good. It's okay if you have a little low market access for a little while but just make sure it doesn't last too long because that will really hamper your economy but we're doing it the right way we immediately build it as soon as it comes up and then we uh do we have tensions with the mapuche yeah okay so they can rise up against us if they want to and i kind of hope they will so we can take over that land still running a small plus although it might disappear soon and the extra building, extra construction sectors get to work. Yep, there it disappears. But this is okay because we already have two and a half million in the bank that we can use. So no worries there. All right, Alaska, that's okay. Ah, we're now colonizing the Mapuche. Let's hope they rise up against us now and we can take this little piece of land. We can also stop Argentine from continuing their colonization here. So that could also be something. How are we doing here? Well, this is going quite fast. These colonies are probably quite slow. Yeah, we need, might need to do a few researches to... Oh, we're making a lot of money now. But we might need to do a few researches that... Um, speed up the uh, whole process there. Alright, so we need more ammunitions too. Let's build a few ammunition plants. We make a lot of money, but it's probably because of the investment pool. Yeah, we have a big investment pool. With all the rural buildings that we're building, we get a lot out of the investment pool. So I don't think we'll actually make this money for a long time. We won't. As soon as we start building industries again, this number will be taken off of it. So we only have a 60,000 uh, plus, which is still very nice, of course. I'm not complaining about that. But yeah, that's not the... Uh, this is a little bit of an unfair number. All right, we got Rubber Rush again. Let's go there. That's fine. I think we should do another diary thing. And we should do another one to map the Western Frontier. Because there's still more that we can expand there and explore there. So let's go for it. We know the person for the job. We do Franklin Buchanan again. Is that the guy without troops? I'm not sure. Oh, he's the Admiral, of course. Okay, he can go again. That's fine. He's now as the Explorer trade, so that's nice. And we now have the money to fund this expedition. So let's go on another one, because I want to have the entire Western Frontier mapped, which might take some time. So, all right, let's go to our laws. Can we do something nice here? Uh, we can see that all these together are still very powerful. If you just look at the parties, the Whig party is the most powerful party at this point. But altogether, this is stronger. So we need to break this party up as well. But that's for later. 
We have a presidential republic, which is fine. Universal suffrage is good. We have elected bureaucrats and total separation. So those are the things I want. We have a laissez-faire economy. That's nice. We have protectionism. I should be switching to things like free trade or something like that later on. This might be interesting. Getting rid of child labor. But I don't think that happening soon. We already have the right of assembly. We could also get protected speech. But I don't think we really have a ch yeah we have a chance of getting it so let's try to get protected speech everybody can say what they want that'll be nice and um, would also be an interesting choice to see if we could get rid of some of the taxes right here so the fewer consumption taxes that we have the more money people can actually spend on goods because they will get a little bit cheaper so the ben more beneficial it is to their standard of living. So that's something that could be very interesting to us. To improve the standard of living of people. Now we still have 40k. Almost. That we can spare. Once we stop using the investment pool. So I say let's invest a little bit more. In three extra construction sectors. The more we can build the better it is. Are we already using our full building potential? Yes, we can't upgrade this yet, so this is good. We have a potential of 308 now, and that should soon start to run up. And well, if we go check the market, you'll see that we started to build all these extra buildings. But as you can see right here, we're not there yet because we were now building paper mills and then we'll get to the logging camps. So it will take some time for the market to change. But our market is something that we can deal with right now. Uh, we have a good plus. Things go in the right direction. So there's no need to change things up at this point. When the earth opened its mouth, making their way through the mountains, the expedition finds a dangerous gorge. Their guide advises them to take a longer, more secure route instead of crossing it. We already made some progress. Uh, and I think our guide knows best. So yeah, let's take a bit of a longer route, but it will be fine. So let's do that. I guess with this um, expedition, we pay quite a bit of money for them. This one costs us almost 40k. So taking all those gambles can be very nice. But at the same time, we're paying lots of money for it right now. So if we can... I would rather have the expedition last a little bit longer. A uh, mine in New Jersey has collapsed, trapping miners within the dark shaft. The scale of the accident has made a tragedy a story across New Jersey and the nation. All right, this is a small price to pay or we'll have, yeah, we'll bolster the industrialist. That's okay. So I like, I don't mind if the expedition takes a little bit longer, as long as we get something back for our money. And if the expedition fails, we won't be getting anything back for our money. And that's the reason why I'm a bit cautious with those because we are investing a lot of money in it. And I just don't want it to be spent on nothing because we gain nothing from it. It's 1867, so we should be well on our way for a truce with um, Mexico, yes. How are they looking? They have a defensive pact with Honduras and New Granada, which are quite big. What happens if I ask them to return this state? Which nations can join in? Russia can join in, that would be bad. Hudson Bay, Tunis and Great Britain, interesting. Not really sure what to do with this. Um, so I'm going to think about that for a little bit. I mean, if we do this and Russia joins, for instance, that could be a problem. And maybe we need to grow our army a little bit more before we actually get into things like that right now. Last time, Russia couldn't join, so that was better. And I think right now, if Russia wouldn't join, that would be much nicer. But we have no clue. We can fight off the rest, that's okay. This scored within the rural folk. An influential faction within the rural folk has grown frustrated with their co-members' neutrality on the topic of protected speech. Themselves in favor of the law, they have now resolved. Okay, with their support, the bill can pass, so that's good. Bad news, when reaching one of the enclaves, a letter was waiting for Franklin Buchanan, stating that his fiancée back in the United States of America has married another man. Uh, that happens all the time. All right, um... We'll do this option then. 
the expedition now has some peril, but we also made some progress. And let's hope we get a mission soon where we can lower the peril of the expedition. That will be good. Ooh, we're using up a lot of money now, apparently. Why is that? Ah, I think the price of tools is getting quite high. Let's import a bunch of tools and let's start producing more tools ourselves soon. So let's build another 10 factories for it. That's at least something. There's the bear side it. Again, should we hunt it or leave it? We'll hunt it. Ah, the attempt went wrong. We gained more peril. And we the expedition is now in grave danger and it failed. Oh, it's a terrible shame. But we can deal with that, so it's okay. And well, we were starting to lose some money now, so getting rid of the expedition is actually quite good. That helps us. So that's nice. Nobody rising up here. I think they tweaked that a little bit to... When the game came out, these would all rise up very quickly, as in also with the Indian nations, and then you could quickly get a lot of land. And that was nice, it was okay. But right now it's tweaked the other way. So, oh, let's impose a tariff on steel. That's nice, let's make some extra money there. Uh, so now they will rise up against others, but rarely against you. So there's no way to actually get this land quickly. And I think they should do something about that to um, to change that up. So we'll see maybe in a later update they'll do that. But right now it's sometimes very rare for them to rise up, which I, I would like them to rise up a little bit more frequently. Not too much maybe, but a little bit more. But for now we made progress. We actually went to war. We've grown our economy with about 30 million, I believe. And well, we are well on our way to become a bigger economy and more of a world power. We are actually slowly on our way to being the biggest economy, which is a good start to become a world power. So let's end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.